Hi friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We entreat you that you subscribe, you like, and you share. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please drop your comment. Praise God. Today we are looking at how to receive prophetic words for people. Praise God. Now there's something you must understand. In the book of Isaiah, the Bible says, God is looking for a man who will send. He said, who shall I send? And who will go? And uh, as I said, here am I. Send me, Lord. Praise God. So God is always looking for who to send to his children. Because there are some of his children that he has been talking to. And they don't pay attention. They don't listen. But eventually they are amateur or they are being distracted. Or they don't recognize it is God speaking to them. So God needs people, mature people, that he will pass through them and then pass across the blessing to that individual. That's what the Bible speaks. He said, I sought for a man. I sought for a man who is standing the gap for my people, but I found none. Praise God. So God is interested in using you in order to receive prophetic words for his people. Praise God. So the question is, how do I receive prophetic words for myself? How, will I, how can I receive prophetic words for others? Now, number one, you must be spiritual. You, for you to have dealings with a spirit God, you must be spiritual. Remember God is a spirit. In the book of John chapter 4 verse 24, the Bible says God is a spirit and they that must worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. So for you to assess his voice, for you to receive his word, you must be spiritual. Praise God. You must be spiritual. Revelation chapter 1 verse number 10 to 11. I was in the spirit, says John, and I heard, and he saw. He heard a voice like a trumpet saying unto him, speaking to him. Praise God. I was so what? While it had played out, he wrote the book of Revelation. Because he was in the spirit and he was able to receive prophetic words and put it on paper. Praise God. So anytime you want to receive prophetic words, you must be the spirit. You must spiritualize your eyes. Spiritualize your entire system to perceive, to sense, to decode. Praise God. To receive prophetic utterances from God for his people or for yourself. Another point for receiving prophetic utterance is you must open your spirit. When your spirit is closed, you can't receive anything from God. So your heart must be open. Your spirit must be strategically positioned and super sensitive to receive from God, to receive words from God. Praise God. Remember, sometimes God speaks to us in small, still voice. So if you're not sensitive, if your spirit man is crowded, if your spirit man is distracted, you will miss that word. You will miss God. Praise God. And that's why you must be super sensitive. You must be sensitive. You must avoid distractions. You must avoid malice, grudges, anything that troubles your heart. That's why the Bible speaking in the book of Isaiah. He says, with joy, you will throw water out of the well of salvation. Praise God. So when you come before God and your heart is bitter, you can't receive prophetic utterance from God. You come to God and you are not happy. You can't receive prophetic words from God. Praise God. So you want to receive prophetic utterance, your spirit must be open. Your spirit must be full of joy. And that is why you have to worship God. This is another point. You have to worship God extensively. Deep 
worship, heartfelt worship, not just worship, worshiping carnally. Deep worship, deep worship, and then God comes down. Because worship is what attracts God. In the book of Genesis 22 verse 5, Abraham said to the young man, You stay here. You guys stay here. Let me go with Isaac and worship the Lord. And we saw what happened. As he went to worship God with Isaac, God came down and God spoke. But myself have I sworn that in blessing I will bless you. In multiplying I will multiply you. Praise God. So God loves worshipers. Remember, he's a spirit and he's looking for what? He's looking for those who worship him in spirit and in truth. So you come to God, worship him. Magnify him. Exalt him. And then he comes to inhabit the worship of his son. Because worship is like venison. It's like sweet smelling sour that God is attracted to. Praise God. Another point is for you to receive prophetic words, you must be a man of faith. We receive prophetic utterance by faith. The Bible says, whatever we do outside faith is sin. Hebrews 11, verse number 6 for without faith it is impossible to please God. So we receive prophetic words by faith. That's why the Bible says in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. So faith positions you in a strategic position to receive from God, to hear the voice of God accurately. Faith positions you at a high altitude where you hear the filtered voice of God expressly. Praise God. And so, you must walk by faith in order to receive prophetic words. And then when you receive them, don't be scared. Speak out by faith. Speak with boldness. And then you see God confirming them with signs following. Praise God. The Lord give you understanding. Shalom. God bless you.